Today I'm going to be painting a portrait of Jesse Reyes and I'm now just setting up my palette and I try to use the same like six colors every time I paint and you'll see all the names of the colors in the description below. Um, I used them straight from the tube and then I add in like a drop or two of linseed stand oil that I've also linked below um, just to make the paint a little bit more fluid. I've diluted some burnt sienna with um, turpentine and I'm just putting on a really thin layer of that all over the canvas just to give me a nice base to paint on that's not bright white. This step is optional in my opinion but I'm basically just using Mars Black mixed with a little bit of um, linseed oil to sketch out the the most important lines um, and I'm just drawing that, I'm just painting that on top of the pencil sketch that I've already done. So it doesn't need to be too perfect. I'm just trying to get the main proportions in place so I know where I'm going to put down the layers of paint. Um, here you see the texture of my paint or the viscosity of my paint and it's, it's on the drier side but I'm using some linseed stand oil just to get it to flow a little bit better. But I'm trying, not, I'm trying not to make the layers too thick at this point because I know I'm going to do another three, four, five layers on top of that again. And if you want me to show you how I set up my palette and how I actually mix all the colors together, I will do that. Just leave me a comment below and I'll do that in the next video. Now I'm just going in and I am, I'm literally painting what I believe I see in the photo that I'm using, in my reference photo. And the colors that I see are not going to be the same colors that you see, right? Which is why I tend to put my reference photo at the beginning of the video and not my final product because our paintings are just not going to look the same when they're finished and that's fine. Like I've got my own style and I am... I'm not that detail oriented. I'm not trying to paint 100% realistically. I am trying to be more on the, uh, well, not even trying. I'm just more on the expressive side. Also because I like to work fast. I like to work with bigger pencils, bigger brushes, and, um, and just do some larger strokes in general. Um, as you can see here, I'm using a really dark paint and I'm actually using Mars Black for this part. I don't usually mix Mars Black with anything when it comes to the complexion. The, the only place I've used it in this painting is the hair, the um, eyelashes and the eyebrows. So as you're watching this time lapse, I think you'll notice that I keep repainting the same areas over and over again. That's just how I work. Some people paint one area and then finish it completely and then move on to the next area. I tend to try to get some shapes in place and then I come back and I make another layer um, and then I'm not happy with that one. And then I make another layer on top of that until I reach some form of some form of completion that I can be happy with. Um, but those processes, are not, um, they're just not going to look the same for you and for me. And they also differ based on what, if you use a canvas to paint on or if you use a piece of paper. So this is just how I do it. Um, and we all paint differently. Just a quick note, when I'm going in and painting the highlights, they're almost completely white. So I use titanium white for the steps. Um, and for the highlights on the face, there's either some yellow added or some red and blue to make like a lilac key highlight color. So. That's just what I do when I work on my highlights. You can see my super focused face here. Um, trying to create some movement in the hair going down. Um, trying to pay attention to her curl pattern because it's important um, and makes her very recognizable. So at this point, I decided to call it a day. I had done about 10 layers at this point and I'm never completely satisfied with the paintings that I do, but um, that's it. Oh, and if you enjoyed this tutorial, please click the subscribe button and leave me a comment on what sort of complexions you'd like to see me paint next time. Bye!